Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you. Having a Toyota Camry, we're talking about this generation from year 2012 to year 2014. If you have one of those, you need to find where the fuses for the intake air temperature sensors are located. Stay with us, we'll explain which two fuses you need to check, where you can buy cheap fuses and relays. That way, you do not waste your money, guys, and why it's important to test fuses and relays. All that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stand till the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. We'll be making a video for every single fuse, every single relay in that generation Toyota Camry and every car we get at the garage. Why we do that? Because many of you will need that information sooner or later. Let's say you need a fuel pump guys, fuse, or you need a steering angle sensor. Those will not be labeled correctly. You will have abbreviations that might say something like FI. You may not have an idea that's a fuel pump guys or fuel injection system so that's why we're making video for every single fuse every single relay to save you time and money and if you're stuck in the middle of nowhere or if you need to find a fuse all we have to do spend a minute or two watch the video find out the fuse instead of guys spending uh, time to find it in the, in the service manual instead of guys wasting money okay and time on parts and tools you don't need another thing guys Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Those are our main YouTube channels. We have more than 1.2 million subscribers, guys, and we have more than 10,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars in free repairs. Another thing, let us show you something quick. You have, guys, some special fuses and relays. We're going to put a link in the description of the video below where you can get uh, fuses relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you don't waste your money. You have those multi-box fuses, we'll put the link for them as well, for different fuses, for different relays, okay? Uh, all kinds of fuses and relays, if you need to buy some and not to waste your money, we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get them from. Check it out. So, let's start on it now. So now let's go ahead and explain guys okay where the fuses uh, for the intake air temperature sensors are located. We'll demonstrate on 2013 to your camera right here. You guys have two different fuse boxes. We'll be working just one of them and that's a fuse box that's easy to access. It's right under the hood guys. Okay right here. You can see this now right here. That's your engine. Car battery fuse box cover. Open that cover here. You will see a fuse box layout that will look just like this one. Before we guys continue, let's explain quickly why it's important to test fuses and relays now. So let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses, not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys when all you have to do, test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay, different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out so for the intake air temperature sensor which fuse we'll need to check this is towards the windshield side this is towards the front of your toyota camry if we zoom in here a little bit two fuses will need to be checked coming in that row of fuses right here even if you have a missing fuse you count the spot the first fuse that you need to check is fuse number 28 right here fuse number 28 then we go to 29, 30, 30, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. The 20M fuse, fuse number 33 will need to be checked as well. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time.